Features like filtering, sorting, and pagination have been made really simple in Angular Material. Let's take a look at filtering in this video, sorting and pagination in the subsequent videos. Filtering can be achieved in three simple steps. The first step is to create our data source as an instance of the mat table data source class. So let's begin by importing mat table data source from Angular Material. Next, we create our data source property as an instance of this imported class. So data source is going to be new mat table data source and then we pass in element data as the argument. So that is our first step creating the data source as an instance of the mat table data source class. Second step is to create an input field where the user can enter the filter text. Let's add that code in the HTML. Mat form field, then an input element. We add the mat input attribute and also a placeholder that says filter. Every time the user enters some text, we need to filter the data table. For that, we listen to the key up event. So key up and on key up, we are going to call a method called apply filter. And to this method, we pass in the filter text, which is accessed using dollar event dot target dot value. That is the second step, creating a filter input. The final step is to define this apply filter method, which actually filters the data source. So back in the component class, apply filter accepts the filter text of type string. And within the method, all we have to do is assign the filter text value to the filter property of the data source. So this dot data source dot filter is equal to filter value dot trim dot to lowercase. Now this kind of seems like magic, but let me tell you how it works. Remember the mat table data source class that we imported? Well, that class has a property called filter. When you want to filter out the data, all you have to do is assign a string to that property. When you assign the filter value, the data source will reduce each row to a serialized form and will filter out the row if it does not contain that filtered value. Or to put it in simpler terms, does the data row contain the filter? If yes, only then display the row. So if you take a look at the browser, you can see that we have a filter input. I type H and you can see it filters the elements. Type HE and it filters further. I can also filter on numeric values. Type 6 and you can see it filters out the rows that don't contain the number 6. So three basic steps for filtering. Creating the data source as an instance of mat table data source creating the input filter, and finally, on key up of that input element, assign the filter value to the filter property of the data source. All right, in the next video, let's take a look at sorting in data tables.